I'll throw you a little curveball. We're in the Winchester Firearms part of the museum here in Cody, and I've got something that ties with John Olin. Now, what does John Olin have to do with Winchester? Well, Mr. Olin was the president of Western Powder Company, which made Western cartridges, and Winchester wanted to buy that company and for some reason didn't do it. Nope. But eventually they got, I think they got in financial trouble in the 1930s, the As Depression so years. So many companies. Yes, exactly. But Olin was in a position with his Western Powder Company to buy Winchester. So the Winchester Firearms Company and the Winchester Rifle Company finally owned their own ammunition company. <laughs> and that's where Olin is big because he combined both of them to become what we all grew up knowing as Winchester, ammo and guns. Exactly. And you know, one of the things that we talk about at the Cody Firearms Museum is that not only do we have the Winchester Arms Collection, but we have a lot of John Olin's personal guns from his own collection. And that's why we have this one, the Model 97, which is a famous Browning design pump action shotgun with an external hammer. And that was the last one I believe they produced with an external hammer, and they produced a lot of those. Oh, yeah, and the slide yeah. action's a, a great shotgun. Yeah. But then you've got something yes, really unfamiliar. Yeah, I do. So we, we, they might not look like they belong, but since they both belong to John Olin, they are fitting. Well, while the 97 is serial number 1 million, this is an M1 carbine serial number 1 million and 1, making it the first production model, and this also belonged to John Olin. Now, the M1 carbine, you'll notice that I'm uh, wussing out right now and holding the lighter gun. The M1 carbine was actually made because it was half the weight of the M1 rifle, and so it's a great functioning fire arm that's light and easy to carry but it's really neat to see serial number one million and one million one of these particular guns both being owned by John Olin. I think uh, he might have known someone to get some pretty cool stuff. I think he got a special deal so. on this one don't you? <laughs> <laughs> so John Olin it's not a name most of us associate with Winchester but he was a big part of the company's evolution and growth. You can learn about John Olin and all the Winchester firearms here at the Cody Firearms Museum or get online at winchester.com and check things out because this is the 150th anniversary year of Winchester and it's a big deal.